Hey guys, how bad has Wizards of the Coast recently failed? It's bad enough that people who normally support Wizards of the Coast and their positions like the Manosaurus and Tolarian Community College has they have taken a stand against what's currently happening. There are many issues. I'm going to focus on one issue in particular, which is them getting rid of FNN promos and making uh, tokens and their rationale. And the key here is not they are trying something new, which is always encouraged, but the key is their rationale for doing this, which is horribly wrong and something that uh, once you can see a Wizard of Coast employee kind of tweet back, they really shouldn't tweet people because it doesn't come out off very well. So, Wizard of the Coast is very incentivized to promote standard. Standard, standard, standard. Why? Because that is the best in terms of money for Wizard of the Coast. The eternal formats, they do not make very much money for Wizard of the Coast. Yes, you get a Modern Masters, an Iconic Masters, and 25th Anniversary Masters, and whatever else is next, but they don't make as much money as a set. So what is changing in Friday Night Magic? Whenever you read something, always read the second. If they're saying, oh, two things have changed, skip the first one because it's kind of bad, meh, and then go to the second one because that's where actually they hide the bad information. The second is a move to foil double-sided tokens from the then current set rather than foil cards from recent standard legal sets. We are hoping foil double-sided tokens offer something different and exciting. We think players will find these rewards interesting and a fun reward for playing. So whoever wrote this as a copywriter is terrible. We think players will find rewards interesting and a fun reward for playing. Playing players, rewards, reward. Okay, this is just terrible copyright. But beyond that, it's real bad right now. And let me explain the rationale. So we're going to work backwards on these tweets. This is a tweet to Tolarian, but there's a bunch of them. To you as a player, probably you care about cards and expected value, but I'm not wrong that the community is bigger than the franchise community. Uh, you should always, as a player, speak up about what excites or disappoints you. However, it's always also important to remember the voices you hear echoing what you say or other players like you and are not entirely of and not the entirety of who plays magic how magic plays is played and what excites players that this is correct but he makes one huge jump in logic he's assuming assuming fnm players are all a bunch of casual players who want to socialize and he goes on to say this seems okay to me the community is bigger than the enfranchised community uh, if the only reason folks go to FNM is the value of the promo, that's not ideal. A play environment is welcoming when it's less. I don't know anyone recently who has gone to FNM, maybe for the fatal pushes soon, but for the value of a promo. This assumes the promos are highly valuable recently, which isn't false. Okay, the solution is to make the promos highly valuable, not to get rid of them. I don't know why they need to like get rid of the promos and why don't they just have the tokens and the promos and you either get a choice or you get both like a pre-release almost why are we cutting back on like pennies this costs pennies for wizard of the coast pennies the 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 cost the majority of the cost is sent is to send the cards and it's in the same package they send anyway but no, we're going to get rid of our FNM promos and replace it with tokens. Folks like you are excited by competition tournaments. Many, many Magic players love it for more social and entertainment reasons. The main reasons folks play Magic or any game is fun. I like the idea of promos being more like skins in a game like Overwatch. You're not blanking Overwatch. You're not in esports. You're not Hearthstone. <laughs> what the blank are you talking about, dude? This guy is insane. I cannot believe he represents Wizards of the Coast. Why would you compare Overwatch? Why would he even bring Overwatch into the conversation? It's just going to end poorly. It will end poorly every time because you have Magic Online. That is your quote-unquote Overwatch. So what is the main tweet that led to this uh, conversation of multiple numbers? 
Uh, we need bold ways to get people playing that Friday night magic and standard. Get rid of promos, give out tokens, get rid of game day. He keeps coming back to the concept of we need to make FNM no value. So go to FNM, give up your Friday, and we're going to compensate you with no value. I don't think that's the problem because there already is low to no value going to FNM to begin with. These stores are the ones giving up double credit, pizza and Coca-Cola. Wizards of the Coast, one time in the past, operated their own stores. They cannot make money. They could not make money. So instead, they pushed that responsibility on these local game stores, which I think is unfair what they do. But hey, that's just me. And in middle school, in elementary school, they opened a Wizards of the Coast near my, near my mall, uh, in my mall actually, next to JCPenney. It was a great environment, but they didn't make any money. How do I know? Because I was there every Friday Night Magic. The scheduling of these events are just insanity because they assume that since you play Magic, you have no life. One of the recent GPs in Houston, I think it was not the most recent one, but the one before that, was on Valentine's Day. Oh no, it was a Star City Games of day. It was like a Star City game event. It was on Valentine's Day. Like, if your significant other is really nice and she'll let you go, that's, I think, an exception. But to assume that all these Magic players don't have significant others or anything to do on Valentine's Day is not great. And to assume that Magic players don't have anything to do on New Year's Eve is also kind of offensive to me. Uh, maybe they don't, but I do, and I find that if the event is on a holiday or even on a Friday, I'm more likely not to go to it because I have better stuff to do. And to end the insanity, uh, and I think MTG GoFish does a very good job, and it is an article you should read. They don't want anyone, they don't want anyone to get data. They are limiting the data. And some people think it's good. I think it's absolutely horrible. Horrible because there is a subset of the group that just likes looking at data. And they love metagame documentation. They love the ability to follow. You can't always spend hours and hours of magic, but sometimes you just want an update. Oh, cool. This deck is doing well. Maybe I'll make it. Magic versus Hearthstone is, it's like magic. Magic wants to be an eSport, they really want to push it, but everything I've seen, them getting rid of Magic Duels, comparing themselves to skins, like tokens, you know, physical tokens that you give a person face-to-face -face as a skin. No, <laughs> it's not a skin. I, and I don't, I don't see why they have to be so cheap. To be quite honest, all of this can be summarized fine. If you want to try the new tokens, go for it. But why get rid of the FNM promos? How much did that really cost you? Like, if you don't want to hire new artwork, don't hire new artwork. Just print the same one. You know, just print the same Priest of Titania. Give us Priest of Titania foil. Give us Sword to Plowshares foil. Give us Brainstorm foil. You don't need to do the new artwork. And I know that foils cost slightly more, but come on. Counterfeiters in China can print these for less than five cents in foil. Right? And they're not doing the volume that you would be doing or as official. And then they have to also consider shipping costs, right? So I am bewildered because the solution would have been very simple. The solution is to keep the FNM promos and then also offer the token and then maybe give both of them out. How is the solution, hey, our game is failing and standard is not doing well. Let's take stuff away. That is never the solution. And the people representing Wizards of the Coast, like I read their tweets and it just makes my brain hurt. Like if the only players who are going to give up their Friday or Friday nights are basically enfranchised players with nothing better to do. If you have something better to do than Magic, you're not going to be at your local game store. If you have dinner reservations or play or anything to do, you're not going to be at your local game store. So to say that, oh, we want to more casual players to go to the local game store, I don't think they're going to go anyway, right? And I don't feel like that the promos have been such of such high value previously 
that it's so competitive. People are just fighting each other and killing each other for these promos. <laughs> Call the Bloodline promo? Give it to me. <laughs> Come on, dude. You can buy online for less than 50 cents. Like, the last 12 promos, there's probably two good ones. A for Hub and mm, Fatal Push is very good. So Fatal Plus, A for Hub, I can't remember any other ones, but there are periods of t long periods of time when a promo is not even worth 50 cents. And if you're paying $5 a mission, that's not what you're fighting over because the expected value is so low. Anyway, that is my opinion. Uh, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.